Okay, I am now here in the garage of Max, right over there. So the plan right now is I'm going to take my uh, mini computer, take all the parts out of it, lay it out on a table, and then just film the whole uh, building of the PC for you guys while taking dabs and high as fuck. So let's begin uh, building a PC with stoners. Let's get it. More, more harmonious world out there. Harmonious. Very, very harmonious. Scrumpily, obviously Peace. Okay, I'm now done taking out all the components from the computer. So basically right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the audio from the DSLR. I'm going to use uh, clips from the GoPro here and there or whatever. So what we have right now is switching to the GoPro. We have my computer case. It's like a little mini desktop case. It's a very small case. We have a mini ITX motherboard inside of there. This is my power supply that I just bought from Best Buy. It's like some $40 power supply, 400 watt. I'm going to order a different one on Amazon today and hopefully by the time that one comes back I'll be able to return this one and get my money back. The graphics card we're using is, is an Asus GTX 650. I literally found this in the trash can. Well not in the trash can but I found the whole computer lying next to the garbage and it had this graphics card and a bunch of other stuff in it. I have an SSD, a solid state, uh, solid state drive that we're going to use for the operating system. This is my little mini fan. I really like mini fans more than big fans or whatever but either way could take a dab real quick and then start assembling all the stuff inside the computer. So. Let's get that taken care of. I actually completely forgot about this, but this is my RAM. This is also uh, what I found inside the computer that I found in the trash can or next to the trash or whatever. Basically in the trash. It is two eight gigabyte, no, two four gigabyte uh, RAM sticks. So it's eight gigabytes altogether. Eight gigabytes for a secondary uh, desktop is honestly perfectly fine. The desktop that I edit on right now has 16 gigabytes. I want to upgrade it to 32 eventually, but 16 gigabytes right now is more than enough. I'm not over uh, overusing my RAM at all. If anything, I had to upgrade my CPU before I do my RAM. So I already took a dab earlier. I'm going to take another dab right now. I'm waiting for Max to come through to tell me how to begin this whole process. And we're going to get this whole uh, PC build started. So let's get it. Step two after taking a dab is install the CPU. So boom, AMD, four core, A10, 7800 series, a bunch of random numbers, installing this bad boy. From all the videos I've seen, on the CPU, there's usually a, a gold corner. You can see all these corners are green. This one corner right here is golden, so it matches up with this little arrow right there. I'm just guessing. First thing I want to do is do some little wire management. of arctic silver thermal paste is very fire it's only eight dollars a half gram yeah i've heard of different thermal paste applying methods i've heard of the x the line the dot the circle overflowing putting way too little i heard less is more in the computer world all right um, thermal paste has been applied we are using arctic silver 0.5 that's funny they measure in well, 0.5 in grams time for the cpu cooler i already installed the thermal paste my battery just died so i don't know when it stopped recording once again okay i think it's in that felt kind of barbaric <laughs> <laughs> that kind of felt like I was like all over the place. Well, as long as it's not coming out the side of my hand. So, for the RAM, I already said this, but we have Corsair Vengeance to 4 gigabytes, so 8 gigabytes all together. Alright, so now the plan is to install the freaking RAM. So, let's get that to
proud to say that these mini ITX cases are really hard to work with. And also, this is probably going to be kind of a boring video, but whatever. I really wanted to do a tech video and collab it with my smoking, so here we go. Also, as soon as I uh, order or as soon as I get my new power supply, I'm going to have to take this one out and install a whole new one, so that's going to be kind of a bitch, but whatever once again my camera stopped recording on the one stop recording but installed the power supply moved all the wires aside so basically uh it's very hard to do wire management in such a small case but we got all the wires aside everything's plugged in and everything i guess it's time to put on the freaking top right all right time for the actual top one of the reasons why i wanted to get this computer running is because of how much time i spent on actually stickering up the freaking case let me show you guys right now yeah i spent a bunch of time putting a lot of cool stickers on this case so i really like and I've actually never turned on the computer with the with this graphics card and these RAM sticks uh, installed, so I do not know if they work or not. This is going to be a test to see if any of these uh, things work, because like I said, I did find them in the trash. Boom! Assembled the freaking computer. I don't know if it works or not, but we're about to figure that out right now. It's all together. That only took like an hour. Dude, this weighs half the weight of my uh, computer that I use at home, so that's pretty cool. Alright, let's test it out. Let's get the operating system installed. Okay, I didn't narrate this as well as I wanted because I was really focused on trying to get the computer to work. I mean, like, plugging in everything in the right place or whatever, because this is only the second time I've, I've uh, assembled the computer, so I'm still learning. I do not know that much about it. So yeah, the plan right now is to install the operating system. And also, I'm gonna take a dab, because my neck hurts. I've been, like, slouching over this whole time, my neck started hurting. Okay, so right now it's gonna be kind of a boring part. We're just gonna install Linux into my computer. So you guys are not gonna want, really want to watch all that. We're just gonna plug in a USB that has Linux on it, transport the the freaking operating system onto this computer, and then hopefully get it running. But so far, it turns on. It looks like uh, the computer wouldn't turn on without the RAM, and we are having audio and video exporting through the video card. So that means the video card has to be working for that to be uh, for that to be on. So looks like the whole system is working. If you guys need a computer, hit me up. This thing's for sale. I assembled it while high. Okay, guys, it was a complete success. Um, like I said, I wish I narrated it better, but I was really focused on hoping I got everything correctly done. Next one will be way better, or funnier, hopefully, or whatever. But either way, everything's working fine. Uh, fine. We got the new operating system in it. All I have to do is go home and install drivers for all the little different components I have in there. But boom, I got two dabs lined up on the power supply. We're about to take some victory dabs right now. I am hyped. Once again, huge thanks to Max. This guy's the master of computers. Boom, that's it. I got myself a second uh, desktop. Thanks a lot, once again, Max. Bro, this guy's the master of PCs. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video of Stoner builds a PC. Next one will probably be better. This one is, this is my very first uh, PC build or whatever. So, anyways, please like, please comment, please subscribe. I hope you guys have a good one. That is it. I'm gonna go home and install the drivers and whatnot. And tomorrow I'm gonna scoot around in the morning, so that's gonna be fun. Anyways, have a good one. Peace.